Hi everyone, my name is Robin Farrell and I'm Assistant Curator at the Art Institute of Chicago and I'm thrilled to join you today as part of SCA Features and speak with you about the Society's Acquisition Selection from 2018, Total Recall by Gretchen Bender. This work was described by the artist as an electronic theater and comprises eight channels of video distributed across 24 television screens and as well as three projections. And together this formulates a monumental installation that is both intelligent and visually seductive, but also crosses boundaries with visual art, film, sculpture, and even sound and creates an immersive environment that holds particular resonance with the ways in which we both consume and experience media today. The artist premiered the work at the kitchen in New York in 1987. This was uh, about a decade after she moved there in 1978 and began to experiment with video sampling from what she called a cannibalistic river of signs and symbols uh, on TV. And this was her way of subverting the power of corporate imagery and really disrupting the overwhelming atmosphere offered by advertising and media and eventually extended into her groundbreaking works of electronic performances. Named after the not yet released 1990 film of the same name, Total Recall might be described as a 18 minute high tech operetta or poetic collage as Bender set disparate materials of throughout, including CGI animation, network news interstitials, corporate logos, and Hollywood film clips to a pulsating soundtrack by Stuart Argebright. And like much of Bender's work, Total Recall, you know, evokes the political climate of the time from Reagan era military initiatives and Cold War politics to the civil war in El Salvador as represented by Oliver Stone. Bender's approach appropriating and recontextualizing these images as a visual assault really deters an audience from any kind of passive viewing and instead exposes the manipulation of commercial television and rapid consumption of contemporary culture. Bender also compulsively used the newest images available to her through the mass media. And uh, this produced an art that was capable of tracking the constantly diminishing lifespan of contemporary visuals and media formats. The staggering effort in making such a work speaks to the impossibility of representing it, and namely the entanglement of entertainment and passivity uh, with systems of power and war. Now, technology and timing are incredibly important considerations, both conceptually and practically, when, when presenting this work. During the artist's lifetime, she choreographed the technical performance of her electronic theater by enlisting help of many to quite literally hit play across video players so they were in sync. For the SCA exhibition in 2018, we designed a system of encoded video on media, media players to formulate the direction of channel flow and sequence. And this was modeled after Bender's original installation and meticulously adapted at AIC to uh, uphold the spirit of the 1987 installation. And this was all done by an incredible team of designers, conservators, uh, curatorial colleagues, and technicians that make up a time-based media initiative at the museum and whose names all appear here on screen. Bender's methods of appropriation and interrogation of media culture associate her with other artists who questioned issues of representation and images of impact and mass culture at the time. These include Dara Birnbaum, Judith Berry, Sherry Levine, Cindy Sherman, Barbara Kruger, and Richard Prince, among many others. Uh, but Bender perversed boundaries of television, gallery, theater, and even nightclub to establish a space that simultaneously entertained and critiqued the monolithic role of constructed imagery. And although the technology with which Bender was working may have changed, the prevailing concerns at the center of her practice continue to resonate today. Our dependence on technology and overly connected contemporary lives renders Bender's investigations into mass media and attempts to generate an active critical audience increasingly relevant. 
And as hinted at the beginning of this feature, Bender was critical to the creation of a new visual vocabulary of media-based art in the institutional space. But at the same time, she didn't receive the same kind of recognition in her lifetime as her peers, and her works had not been on view until her electronic performances were recreated, reconstructed by Philip van der Heyden in 2012. This is why the SCA's selection to acquire Total Recall was so extremely important and incredibly rare, and it continued the Society's enduring legacy of supporting moving image art for the Art Institute of Chicago. Total Recall is widely considered the artist's most iconic work and remains a landmark both in her practice and in histories of media art, and we are so honored to hold it here in the collection at the Art Institute of Chicago. A huge thanks goes to the Society for Contemporary Art, the Gretchen Bender Estate, Metro Pictures, and, an, and exceptional colleagues at the Art Institute that made Total Recall an extraordinary acquisition and installation in 2018. Thank you. I was having these dreams for a long time that she did die. And then I'd wake up and I'd realize that if you did, there'd be no way I would have a knowing. <laughs>